Hello guys, my name is Bobby. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks for joining. So, I kind of have a surprise for you guys. Let me just take this off. I'm baby faced and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It kind of was like a um, impulsive thing. You know, it's quarantine, everyone's like dyeing their hair and, um, you know, doing crazy stuff. And, you know, I just got done with finals, so, you know, I kind of had a mental breakdown. But hey, what else is new? And I decided to shave my beard, um, not only because I was having a mental breakdown, but because the barber shops are closed, I cannot go get fresh. I cannot get it trimmed. I cannot get it like how they like shave it and it's like real sharp. I'll insert pictures of what it normally looks like when my barber does it. It looks fire. And I just figured like it was starting to get like bushy and I don't like that. I like it to be like trimmed and like neat. So it's just like honestly like what's the point? Like I haven't been baby faced in a very long time. And yeah, um, you know what I mean? We step outside your comfort zone, do new things. That's what today's video is all about. So let's just jump straight into it. Me and my family, we redid our basement because it needed done. And right now I feel like it's the perfect time to do like projects around the house. So that's what we did. And while I was redoing my basement, I came across some old photos from middle school. Now, middle school me was very different. Let me show these pictures. It's kind of like goth, like emo-ish. I don't know if that's like an offensive term, but that's what everyone back then called it. Like I had gauges and I like slicked my hair and like to the side and I had this haircut. I don't know, I wore dark clothing and stuff. And that's just like kind of what I was known for. That was my style in middle school. And I figured, you know, nowadays that style is like coming back. I noticed like on TikTok, um, e-boys is like a thing. And when I say e-boys, this is what I mean. It's not the same exact style as I have. Mine's more like goth-ish, but it's, in the same damn realm, so I'm finna become an e-boy. Why not? And yeah, let's just get straight to it. So, I feel like the what makes an e-boy an e-boy is definitely the fit. So you already know how to get right with the fit. Let me show you guys. Mm. Why don't I put it on now? So here's the fit. Um, I feel like I don't look that bad baby face. I don't know. I'm just really not used to it. Yeah. So the fit is taken care of. Next, I feel like this is freaking essential. Like you are not an e-boy unless you have hella jewelry. And I'm talking chains, chains rings, rings, earrings. earrings. You can definitely tell I used to have gauges. Like, look at that. Definitely. M my sideburns are f trash. Oh my god. Like, they look horrible. And that is because, ladies and gents, the barber shop is closed and I cannot go get fresh to death. This one's even worse. That's what mental breakdowns bring you kids. Okay, this is giving me difficulty. Earrings are in. Now let's move on to the necklaces. So I'm gonna start with the longer ones. This is what I have. I'll show them like each 
by each. This one I think is the longest. It has like some lettering on it, but I don't like really know what it says. We're just gonna throw it on and see where it goes. Now, where is this other one? This one. This one I put around my pants, but in the pictures I took, you couldn't really see them. So I'm just gonna put it around my neck. Next is the, oh, uh, this one, ah, this one is like nothing special. Like there's no really like design on it. This one is longer. I like this one a lot. It is like, it's like a, um, like a lock and a screwdriver. I think that's pretty cool. And I noticed the whole like lock necklace thing is like a reoccurring thing for e-boys. So I felt like this was essential to say the least okay now this one is tricky okay this one has a v on it which i think is pretty cool and i like this one to be like one of the highest ones like right here so like putting it on is like a bitch for all okay oh wow i like nailed it my first try Alright, fun fact, I actually love untangling, like, stuff like this, how your jewelry gets tangled. It's not focusing, but whatever. Um, that, like, really gives me satisfaction. That's easy. And then we're gonna do this one. I feel like this one is a must. Like, every freaking e-boy on Instagram has a, and e-girl. I want this to lay, like, there. Oh, snap. One of my good friends, Jay Shell, she's, like, CEO of E-Girls. And she approved of all this, so it makes me feel a little bit better. And last but not least, we're just going to do this, like, feather one. Not, nothing too special. And I want that to be, like, higher, too. Boom! Chains done. And now I'm gonna do rings. I actually only have one ring in my room. The rest of them are in my car. And I really just don't feel like going to get them. So we're just gonna do one today. Um, I'm gonna do it. Oh, snap. Oh, it's stuck. We're just gonna do it like here. Whatever. So that concludes for the jewelry, earrings, chains, and a ring. In the pictures I took, I had more rings. But like I said, they're in my car and I do not feel like I need them. Sorry. Now the third step is gonna be the hair. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I dye my hair a lot. Literally, I was talking to one of my friends we were talking about how much I dye my hair, and I was like, it's kind of a problem. Like, I'm surprised it's not falling out at this point. And I did the math. I dyed my hair literally 12 times within the past year. Like, 12 months. I dyed it 12 times. That's, And it wasn't like I did it once a month. Some months, I did it, like, multiple times within one month. And some months, I went, like, without doing it. I'm thirsty. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, I dye my hair a lot. So, you know the fucking drill. I dyed my hair purple, but I only did like one little part. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, it's right here. It looks red. And that's because... Okay, let's just start from the beginning. My hair used to be like frosted tips-ish. Like my hair is naturally dark. Then I dyed it all black. And then me and my friend, like a month ago, put red dye over top of the black. It was like this cool, like purpley red black color. And then when the quarantine happened, I decided to bleach a little part of my hair and it turned out like a rusty red. So that's why it looks red. The ends, like, are low-key, like, pink. 
I don't know, but I'm going to insert the clip of me dyeing this purple here. And yeah, it was like a pinky purplish for like a few days and then I washed it and it was gone. So I'm basically stuck with red. I'm probably gonna have to bleach it again. Um, RIP to my hair though, honestly. Comment down below if I should do a hair video because I've dyed my hair a shit ton and it's still in pretty decent condition. So let me know if you guys want that. Also, I got a really bad haircut not too long ago and I have like these weird layers in my hair. Like, do you see how this is short and like this is long? I don't know, but I've never gotten layers before. I don't know why my barber thought that was a good idea. And now we're in a little, um... Quibble over it. Next up is going to be nails. Now, I know not every e-boy paints his nails, but this one does, okay? So I'm going to be doing, like, black. And since I dyed that little piece of my hair purple, I want to include a little bit of purple even though it literally looks red. Um, so that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna tilt this like down so you guys can like see what's going on. Okay. Whoa. All right, ladies, let's get into it. And gents and everything in between. I'm gonna go in with the black first. <laughs> 412, it's actually the Pittsburgh area code. And that is in most bitches bio, Instagram bio that I graduated high school with. So, you know, I don't, this is like angled kind of weird. Much better. Like I said, I'm gonna be going in with the black and paint my nails. So let's talk. How is everyone doing since quarantine? How has everyone been, you know, keeping themselves busy and safe? I'll tell you what, I've been having mental breakdowns a lot. Not really mental breakdowns, and holy shit, I cannot paint nails to save my life. Look at that. Like that dot on the side. What What the hell is that? Are we going to roll with it? We're going to roll with it. All right, let's move on to the next. I have, I only had like one mental breakdown. That's when I shaved my beard. And that's because I got a D on my accounting final after I studied for hours and hours and hours. And honestly, I was really hurt about it. But like, what are you going to do? Okay, what are you going to do? Okay. And I'm going to fast forward until I do like with the purple. Should I do it on my pinky or my ring? I'm thinking I might try something cool. Now this is gonna flop or it's gonna go really well. So stay tuned. Um, okay. I want it to look like almost like marvel-y on like one of my nails. So we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay. I feel like black can be dangerous cause it's like too much of it and like the purple will be gone. So with that being said, I'm going to use the purple brush to apply it. Make sure you get all the excess purple off, blah, blah, blah. How am I going to do this? I'm actually low-key good at, like, artsy stuff. Oh, you guys see that? It's, like, marvel-y on my nail. Or on the brush. Oh. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> I fucking snapped! Oh my god, I literally snapped. Hold up, this like low key looks so good.
Wow, I should be a freaking nail tech at this point. I think I'm gonna do the same thing for the pinky, but I want like a little bit more black. You feel? Whoa. Oh my god, I'm scared. Whoa, oh my god, it's like all on the side. Okay, honestly, fuck it. It adds character. That looks so bad. Oh my god. I'm about to use this mask to like freaking wipe it off. Oh my god, that looks awful. <gasps> oh no, pink, pinky no, sweetie. I'm oh, sorry. But this honestly is kind of cool. It adds character and... No, this one honestly is cool. It's a bit messy, but... It'll do. That, that looks so bad, but we're just gonna ignore it. We're just gonna ignore it. Now, I'm gonna do basically the same thing on the other nail, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. So, our next step is actually... <laughs> our next step is kind of funny, okay? Like I said, this whole video is really lighthearted, and like I said, I did used to dress like this and stuff. And I do have a lot of friends now that are e-boys and stuff, and they partake in this and that is vaping let's develop a nicotine addiction shall we <laughs> guys i do not vape even though like a little bit of smoke came out of my mouth from this i don't vape and i'm not like technically allowed to because they changed the age to 21. I'm 19, if you guys didn't know. So I'm, like, not technically allowed to vape. And nor do I think I should post a video of myself doing it on the internet. So that's that. Now, the last and final step to all this is go and take some pictures. So you can post them on Instagram and let everyone know that you are now an e-boy. So yeah, post Instagram, you know, go and, you know, have a photo shoot with your friends, or I did it myself, which I'm going to insert that here. It was really fun honestly i just went to like a school parking actually like my intermediate school parking lot and that's like my fourth grade through sixth grade school i went to that parking lot and it was a lot of fun but a lot of people were staring at me and it's pretty uncomfortable i'm not gonna lie a cop actually rode by which was kind of funny and they like slowed down and i thought they were gonna pull into the lot and ask me like what the fuck i'm doing but they didn't. Um, a whole family. I'm talking like five family members. Mom, dad, and like three freaking children. Walked past me as I'm like taking self-timer pictures on my phone. And just like stopped dead in their tracks and stared at me. And I... It was very uncomfortable. So I just... Did what I need to do and I left. Um, oh... Also, you guys might notice in the pictures I, like, took, um, my nails weren't painted. And that's because this video is very backwards. And I keep dropping that, so it's just gonna stay on the floor. Um, that day that I took the pictures was very hectic, and I tried to film this, you know, intro. And it wasn't really working out. So, I just went and took the pictures without filming the intro. And that's why my nails aren't painted. And so yeah, don't ask why in the comments. Oh my god, your nails aren't painted, so that's why. Um Yeah. I was thinking about holding like this like enjoy in my hand in the picture. But I feel like that's doing a bit much and I don't vape as it is. I just don't really like it. And I've asthma. Well this video is basically over. Um 
I should probably film the outro. So I'm gonna film the outro now. I feel like I look like a freaking fetus with my face shaved. Mm. Also, that's another thing. People are probably gonna look at the pictures. I had a beard in the pictures. I had a whole ass beard and now I don't. That's, it's probably weird. Like I filmed the intro with no beard. Like the pictures had beard and the outro, I have no beard. I don't know, but it's gonna go back. It's gonna go back. You can like kind of see it's starting to go back a little bit. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. You know, this transformation, get ready with me challenge, whatever the frick you want to call this. It was fun. And yeah, um, let me get the picture of me from middle school. This boy is living, okay? He is living. He's living. Let me know if you guys think I nailed the look. Did I nail it or what? And com like, comment, subscribe. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.